Ano po ba ang ethylene oxide at saka bakit po ito nasa mga produkto? How come natatagpuan siya sa pagkain? Oh. Actually, ang ethylene oxide, it's a gas at room temperature. At ginagamit ito na pang sterilize ng mga spices halimbawa. Kasi ang spices, syempre tinutubuan na mga bakterya yan. Mm -hmm. So to sterilize it, one of the techniques they use is uh, ethylene oxide which is a gas. Pero dapat mawala siya kung ano, kung nabenta na. Actually, ang EPA uh, allows ethylene oxide to uh, some level, pero mas mababa yung requirements ng EU. Pero ang ethylene oxide, ginagamit din yan sa mga medical equipment kasi may mga medical equipment na hindi pwedeng pakuloan. Di ba yung ano, nalagay sa autoclave? Hindi malagay doon. Ethylene oxide din na ginagamit nila, but that's under ano, hospital conditions for sterilization. Okay. So ang function talaga ng ethylene oxide is to uh, kill nice. bacteria. So dito sa particularly to sa instant noodles, noodles nandun siya dun sa pakete na mga spices. Kaya ang tanong ko, what is the tolerable level? Is it normal that there's a residue ng ethylene oxide? Uh, matotolerate ba yan ng katawan natin? Well, yung tolerable level... Um, I don't know for sure kasi lalo na kung parating, ano, parating, parating kinakain na kinakain. Oh, yes. But, but uh, the EU has a um, uh, limit of mga 0.1 tawag natin parts per million. Mm -hmm. So yun ang kanilang maximum allowed level. So dapat mas mababa ka dun sa level na yun kung merong ethylene oxide. Kaya nagkaroon ng product recall. Pero Oo. dito sa atin sa Pilipinas, Wala. hindi tayo ganun ka stricto. Ang um, well, I guess Mondenisin will know this more kasi international naman yung pagtrade din ng mga spices. According to Mondenisin, they don't and in fact the uh, FPA um, uh, Fertilizer and Pesticide Authority um, has not allowed the use of ethylene oxide. So mm -hmm. it's not used locally. Okay. So ang alam ko yung some of the spices may come from other countries and in particular I think some of the at least the reports yung mga nanggaling sa Thailand. Mm -hmm. So, we have to check meron bang ethylene oxide residues dun sa ano, spices na nanggaling sa Thailand. But, but uh, Montenegro itself does not use ethylene uh -huh. oxide. Professor, sabi ninyo, no, ginagamit talaga siya to sterilize, lalo na yung mga herbs, ganyan, pero kailangan maalis. Ano po ba yung process na ginagamit para maalis ito? Uh, well, I don't know the details. I guess kailangan yung manufacturer na yung It will have an actual ano, um, mm -hmm. experiment. But uh, ethylene oxide is um, it's a gas at room temperature. So there are ways, I presume, of uh, getting rid of ethylene oxide. Um, meron ding byproduct ng ethylene oxide na kailangan bantayan mm. um, kasi nagre-react ng ethylene oxide. So there are things that um, have to be sa process, sa processing, yun ang kailangan pag -aralan. So hindi lang basta-basta gagamitin ng ethylene oxide and it will vary according to the specific spice. Mm -hmm. So meron mga spices na pinagagamitan kasi ano ba, hindi pwedeng initin yung spice dahil mapangit yung lasa. So mm -hmm. ibang paraan ang ginagamit. Mm -hmm. So basically it has to be studied and the standards have to be done so that it meets the ano, mm -hmm. the, the target. Ano ba? Mm -hmm. Medyo stricto nga ang EU which is mm -hmm. uh, it's good for, ano, for our Sa health. Sa atin po ba, ano yung level ng pagiging stricto pagdating po sa ethylene oxide? Um, actually, I, I don't think ethylene oxide has really been studied in the Philippines. Para ngayon lang um, na pag-usapan nito eh, no? Should safety. we follow? Do you think we should follow yung standards ng EU? Well, since we export to the EU, um, I guess the best practice is to follow. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Ang kinagulat namin, bro, is eh. hindi lamang pala dito sa paborito naming instant noodles mm -hmm, press mm -hmm. na nakitaan itong ethylene oxide mm -hmm. so ice cream may papa uh, hagendas no if i may if i may ano talo hindi naman natin magiging sponsor ng hagendas no <laughs> <laughs> pwede Parang rin naman yung vanilla flavor na because i think yung vanilla bean ano doon mo gagamitin ng ethylene oxide ano if i may speculate so hindi lamang pala dito sa paboritong instant noodles mm -hmm. namin makikita ito but But other food products na gagamitan itong seeds nga, mm -hmm. ano? Yes, uh, I, I think it, it's used for yung mga spice and flavoring na delikado ang ano eh, ang pala, yung taste niya, na hindi mo pwedeng initin, kundi ano, mm -hmm. masisira yung kanyang, yung kanyang flavor. So that's one that they've been using. And uh, it's been used for a while, but under you know, strict regulations. Oh, Pero oh, ayan. Oh. 
kung pati Hagen Dutch nagkakaproblema din. Obviously, diba? ano, it has to be improved. Tumbles.